Okay, y'all, this RV here is crazy. So you step up into this kitchen space here. This is also a toy hauler, so it has a garage for motorcycles, ATVs, things like that. And if I step out this door, I am entering into a side patio. So two patios in total. Let's go take a look, come on. Welcome back to another video, y'all. If you're new here, my name is Miles with Firmly Unbound, and we are here getting a first look at the 2025 Jayco Seismic Luxury Series. This is their 4113, one of their most popular toy hauler units because it has two patios on the outside, including this side patio that we see here. But you'll be able to see the floor plan layout in the specs on the screen, and we're gonna go inside and take a look. Now, if you are interested in this fifth wheel RV, this is the first look we are getting in the country or in the world of this 2025 Jayco Seismic, which means likely when you're seeing it, it might be possible that there is not one yet available at an RV dealership's lot. But here with Blue Compass, there's a link down below in the comments and description of this video where you can find all of the different stores across the United States as we have over 100 different stores in 33 different states that sell um, not all of them sell Jayco, but a lot of them sell Jayco, and you'll be able to find something hopefully close to home, and we are here to help when you are ready, so use that link down below as a resource to help you out when you're ready to find your location to find an RV like this. Now, these Jayco Seismics, they typically sell somewhere around like the 120 mark, I believe. Um, this is the Luxury Series. Seismic also makes a non-luxury series that sells for about 90 or so, and there are also 2024 models available, so keep that in mind. Now we're gonna come back outside and take a look at some of the outside features here in a second, but we're go, we will go inside first. And you can see they have a new water filtration system. We'll see that when we come outside. Um, new stainless steel sink inside, really nice. They have new 18, uh, or sorry, 16 ply H-rated tires. And uh, let's see, no um, heat registers in the floors whatsoever. And then you also have new dovetail jointed drawers with solid wood construction. So all of those very great things. You can see here the Seismic Luxury Series fifth wheel RVs. These are your three options here. So we are looking at the side patio model, the 4113, but they also have the 3815, which is that floor plan layout here, and the 3512, which is that floor plan layout here. So as we step inside, you can see your side patio there has a TV outside, color changing LED lights, does come with a remote control to control those. And you have a security camera entering in to this fifth wheel. Also want to point out, you do have a strut assisted step. So this step will hold its own weight. We love that, that is great. And we can see the exact specs of this model here behind the screen door. It is unloaded 16,411 pounds. That is crazy, very heavy, has a 4,489 pound cargo carrying capacity. So going to be about uh, 20,000 pounds fully loaded and it is 46 feet long. It is a monster of a fifth wheel RV. As we step inside, you have a really cool layout in here, unlike any other side patio toy hauler you will see. This is a huge fifth wheel RV. You have four cushions here, all four of them recline. This is cloth furniture and it feels really nice. Very soft feeling there, love that. You have LED lights up underneath the chairs. You have these tables here. And again, all four um, cushions do recline. You have a 50 inch screen TV right here. So when you're sitting on the sofa, you can see your view of the TV. You have your electric fireplace, will be an electric heat source for you and a JBL sound bar. Storage up above the TV, see your space there, you'll have more drawers or shelves there, and then you'll have storage up here above the entry to the side patio. Has a patio style door, soft close hinges on your cabinets. Um, patio style door going to that patio outside, it is not tinted. And as you come out here, you also have the screen door that you can slide close so no bugs get inside. You have your TV outside, speakers outside, and everything is covered by the awning. Black awning fabric and white arms on your awning. Gives it a nice cohesive look. Then as we step back out this way, look at this kitchen space, y'all. So you actually step up into this kitchen. Such a interesting design. Very curious your thoughts on what you think about this and what you think about the color scheme in general. It's actually a interesting clash of tones in here as your lights in the ceiling and things like that are a little bit on the cooler side. They still have some warm properties to the light tone, but definitely cooler than the warm light you see in the LED light strip here. Then you also have the blue LED light up over the slide out. You also have the Whisper Quiet AC system with this Helix cooling system. 
So they say that that is 40% quieter. It is a very quiet system as your AC actually sits up in the attic and those are your return vents there. So you definitely don't hear hardly anything when that AC is on full blast. It does have J voice on this fifth wheel RV. So you can control all of these different things with your voice inside of this fifth wheel. And then you have your touchscreen control panel here, control for your awning lights outside. And you can see here, everything will be able to be controlled on your fifth wheel RV with this touchscreen control panel and it will connect to your phone as well. As we step up into the kitchen, right away you have this storage space here, gonna act as a pantry. You have some height adjustable shelving through there. Soft close uh, cabinets through this kitchen. You have your water and ice in the door of the refrigerator. That is a GE residential refrigerator. You can see it's still got everything packed up like it was just put together. And then you have this U-shaped kitchen that has residential size appliances in it. You now have solid surface countertops and a real tile backsplash. We love that. So very high quality that you're getting into now in terms of a fifth wheel toy hauler. You have a charcoal stainless steel sink. This is going to have multiple different accessories that will come with it. Um, you have this spot that will spray out water here and you'll have a tray that you can put vegetables or fruits in. You'll have another rinsing tray that you can set right here and a wooden cutting board. You have the spot to wash your cups and we're seeing this across a lot of different Jayco RVs now. Love that. Little shallow storage through here and then storage space underneath there. Show you all the storage in the kitchen so you can figure out where you're gonna put all your stuff inside of here. So more storage through there. A couple pull out drawers. And this is where we can see that solid wood construction with dovetail joints now, love to see that. That gets this much more close to being on par with some of the top of the line products that we have seen in years prior that have kind of exceeded stuff in the RV industry. And now we're getting some brands that like Jayco here that are making sure to compete with those higher end brands like Brinkley that were doing those dovetail joints, now getting some competition in the marketplace with other products that are matching that quality. So love to see that. So that's all your storage around here, storage up around the microwave, up underneath there, storage through here all the way back through to the wall, and then cabinets through here. You have a pop-up outlet here in the corner, has USB and USB type C connections there. And this is a GE profile stove. So nice big stove and oven. Has a kind of an industrial look to it. Four burners and residential size microwave with the air fryer or convection oven combo. Last spot right here. I don't know if we looked up into here, but you have all of your storage there. And that is everything in the kitchen space. And as we walk up into the bedroom and bathroom, you have this little bit of storage space with this slide out here before the bedroom. So this is some additional wardrobe storage that you'll be able to utilize. You can see the clothing rod in there. And then you come down here and you have your drawer. Again, all solid wood construction, soft clothes on those. Then you step into the bathroom. It is a pass-through bathroom, foot flush porcelain toilet. Nice countertop space in here. This is a wrapped countertop material here, so not a solid surface like in the kitchen. Has a nice deep sink. Wow, that's like a porcelain sink right there. Love that. That is a nice big space. And then you have medicine cabinet storage, storage in the bathroom, down underneath here, and three pull-out drawers. As I turn the camera around, I'm gonna step into the shower and show you the ceiling height in here real quick. So at its shortest point, you can see right here, it's probably about six foot three or so I'm six two with my shoes on right now and you can see how I can move around in the space up into the skylight right here it's probably about six foot six or so so I'm going to flip the camera back around and then we're going to get you into the shower here you can see this is a huge shower space in terms of width that you have there I guess length that you have there multiple different shower heads on the shower so you have some feet and body sprayers um, removable handle and you have that shower head Kind of interesting how the skylight goes east to west, so you don't get that elevated ceiling height, um, you know, for a longer duration of the shower if it were to go this way. I wish they, kind of wish they would have done it that way. But nonetheless, you also have this spot to sit down. So if you need to sit down because you are too tall, you do have that option there. Sliding door going to the bedroom. And then as we step into the bedroom, you have a huge TV installed in here. That looks like that's like a 40, 42 inch screen TV. Definitely one of the biggest TVs you're going to see standard in a um, toy hauler fifth wheel. 
you can see king size bed right there. So able to make that happen, although you don't have room to walk on this side of the bed. It is very tight over here. You do have storage up over this bed though. The front cap is a windshield. So that is actually going to let in natural light during the day. It's tinted very dark, so you can't really see out of it right now. And then mattress on here is really nice. It's this aloe vera cooling mattress here, and it is a memory foam type of material, I believe. So it's a little bit on the softer side, but it does have those cooling properties to it. If you like a firm mattress, you may not find it firm enough for you potentially, but you'll just have to try it out yourself and see what you think when you come take a look in person. And then down underneath here, you have huge storage underneath the bed. It goes all the way back to the front cap. Next to the bed here, you have storage space there. Pull out drawers here. and pull out drawers here. More storage into the bedroom space. This is now into the slide out in the bedroom. You can see you have that wardrobe closet and drawer that pulls out. Another AC is here in the bedroom. So you can see that AC return here. There's gonna be three ACs in total. Spot here for some storage and kind of a get ready spot. I think it would have made sense to put a mirror there because why not just put a mirror on the back of that, but that's something you could always add on yourself. And then two pull out drawers here. Door ha does have to be shut for these to open. And then finally this door here opens up like so, and you can see there's actually a latching mechanism here to catch that so that it stays open in place when you want it to. And that's as far as it's gonna open up. So then as we walk back this way, it's going to be about a 13 foot garage on this toy hauler. But before we go out there, let's go out to the patio. So we have our patio outside, about a 40 inch screen TV or so, maybe 38 inches. It's hard to tell the exact size, but pretty dang good size nonetheless. JBL speakers, and then you have your awnings out here. Um, white awning arms. I can't remember if I said this stuff or if we came out here already or not. Totally forgetting now. But nonetheless, outside patio, if we didn't look at it yet, I filmed so many RVs here for y'all, I'm kind of getting confused on what I've done and what I haven't done. Loft up into this space, so you can kind of see that there. I'll try to get the camera down. So you can see that loft, use this for storage, use it for sleeping. You have multiple different options for how you can use that space. And that is there to give you extra usable space within this toy hauler. Then going back into the garage, do you want to show you the door closed real quick? It is going to be a glass door, a tinted glass door. And open this up. And this is going to be about a 13 foot garage, maybe about 12 and a half feet with the patio doors that you have on here. You have your rings that are screwed in to the floor or the frame there. I'm not sure if they're screwed into the floor or the frame. I wish I had like a for sure answer on that. If somebody knows in the comments, let me know. But they are the D rings there to secure your toys down. You have the Happy Jack bunk system back here. So you can see this goes down into a bed formation. You also have the sofas here. This is a cloth material, not a leather material. Flip down armrests, and then this whole area can make one king size bed. And then you have another bed up over the top that will drop down that will also make into a bed. And then you can move these up out of the way against the sidewall when you need to load in toys, or you can push this in the bed formation all the way up a um, along this bed to give you more width to load in toys here. Now, because I'm at this RV event, I'm trying to film as many RVs as I can for you guys. I don't have time really to go through and demonstrate how all that stuff works. So there are videos online of how a Happy Jack bunk system works and you can definitely check those out and find those on YouTube. You have your backup camera already installed, a awning off the back here. You have your three season patio door and then you can see you have your whole gate system on the patio. Should be noted, this is about 46 feet long. It's about another eight feet for this patio and then probably another three feet for the stairs. So keep in mind with a fifth wheel RV this big, when your patio is down, this is going to take up in total about 57, 58 feet or so. I mean, it takes up a lot of room. It's 46 feet plus another eight plus another three. So yeah, that's about 56 feet or 57 feet. So definitely keep that in mind. Um, as we go back inside here, other things to keep in mind, if you missed it, this is warranty for full-time RVing. So love that. It also has a two-year base warranty and a three-year structural warranty. The RV industry standard is only a one-year base warranty. So really nice on that with Jayco. It does have a little bit of space that gets eaten up here in the garage for that side patio design. So you don't get that full 13 feet all the way back to the back wall. 
Washer and dryer also would be installed back here. It would require a washer and dryer combo unit because there is no designated spot to vent out a dryer. And then you have a porcelain foot flush toilet here in the half bath. Sink goes back into this area there. And then you have your medicine cabinet and some pretty decent storage back here for a half bath. I've seen some half baths that literally have no storage in toy haulers. You also can put a camera back here in the garage so you can monitor your kids if they are acting up or you can also monitor your toys, make sure they're not falling over while you go down the road. You have a TV installed in the garage. It will drop down to this level here if you wanna be able to see it from the patio. And then you have JBL sound controls right here. JBL speakers in the ceiling, your third AC is here in the garage. And then that just about wraps up everything. You have this storage space here, everything on the inside at least. So let me know what you think down below in the comments of this Jayco Seismic 4113. And we're gonna step outside and take a look at some of the outside things. Make sure I touched on that. I think I showed you all that control panel already. And as we step outside, um, starting up front, you have a Moride pin box here. So this is one of the best pin boxes you're going to be, be able to get standard on a fifth wheel RV. So you have that Moride pin box here. You have the uh, MPS 6000 watt inverter here by Yamaha. This also has the inverter technology on it. I still am trying to understand what the inverter technology does exactly. So if you know, let me know down below in the comments. I keep forgetting what the uh, benefit of that is. You have your hydraulic fluid here and then spot for batteries there. Coming along the non-camp side, six point hydraulic auto leveling, side cameras already installed from the factory. Schwintech slide on your smaller slide out boxes, slide toppers already installed to protect your slide outs from the sun, protect them from water and protect them from debris building up on top of there. You have the Dexter tow assist. So this is going to track your odometer or give you an odometer for your RV. It's also going to have sway, mitigate, uh, sway mitigation and anti-lock braking with that system there. 30 pound propane bottle, water management system here. That is the Nautilus water management system, motion activated light. You can see as I stepped up in there, that light turned on. And then you have this new three stage water filtration system that also acts as a water softener and conditioner. So going to really elevate your camping experience. You can see your pass-through storage space here. That is that new two zone griddle cooktop, uh, cooktop from Halo. So that is really neat. That is gonna be something that really gives you a really nice outdoor griddle cooktop. And then you can see you have aluminum framing and you actually can see the Astro foil insulation there giving you an added layer of insulation underneath that flooring. Now, because that was such condensed storage underneath your kitchen here, you get a little shallow storage space back through there. Also get your central vac connection here in the pasture storage to vacuum things outside. Fridge access through this door right here. Dump valves, everything will come out to this one spot right here for all of your black and gray tanks for everything except for the half bath in the back. And then as we go back this way, you have that H-rated tire. It's a 16 ply and it is a Uniroyal brand uh, 21575R 17.5. And you have the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system on this toy hauler here. Back here, you have the dump station for the half bath. 60 gallons of fuel capacity. And then if you're looking at the seismic as well versus the seismic luxury, some things that the seismic luxury has that the seismic doesn't have that makes it more expensive are things like solid surface countertops, 60 gallons of fuel capacity instead of just 30 on the seismic. This has an upgraded suspension system. The seismic has just a standard leaf spring suspension system. Um, slide toppers already installed on top of the slide outs. Things like uh, side cameras, backup cameras already being installed. And little stuff like that, that adds up. You know, that was just a small number of things there, but there's a couple more that I'm probably forgetting as well. But that is just about everything, y'all. I'm estimating on the price on this, but I believe something like this will go about 110 to 120 is my thought. Um, I could be wrong, but again, there's a link down below in the comments and description of this video that will take you to our website with Blue Compass RV, where we have over 100 different stores in 33 different states. And as soon as we get one in stock, there will be pricing information there. Plus, you can always contact us and talk to a representative in person to get pricing information. And you can also order one of these as well. So that's all I got for y'all. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Appreciate y'all watching. And until next time, live firmly unbound.